<sighs> Sorry, I had to drink some water. My throat was feeling a little sore yesterday. And I don't need to be sounding like this. So I just drank some water real quick. <laughs> All right. So I know I told y'all yesterday that I would explain everything tomorrow, which is now today. So. So this is gonna be my outfit for tomorrow. This is what it's giving. I got rhinestone crop top, cause you guys already know I'm extra. I love standing out. I love anything that shines. Got my shiny mask to kind of match with it. Shiny choker, little rhinestone choker. Look how that's blinging, y'all. Look at it. And then, of course, you gotta have the braces to match it. It's kind of a little bit messed up, but it's still nice. Like, it's not that noticeable that you really point it out. And then I'm debating on if I should wear gold hooped earrings or if I should wear these hoop earrings with my artist name on it. So, yeah, this is the look for tomorrow. Y'all, look how that's shining, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. But yeah, this is my look for tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is currently like, I'm gonna assume like 740 something. I know that much. Um, so today is the day, y'all. I'm meeting Elamete with my dad. So I'm actually up pretty early because I wanna get everything like set up and ready i want to wash my clothes take a shower get my makeup ready all that stuff so yeah i'm about to go do that now and i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna waste y'all's time <laughs> i'm sure y'all don't want to see the whole process y'all just want me to get to the point so i'm gonna get back to y'all when my makeup is done and when i'm on my way hey, what's up to the vlog dad what's up vlog dad Let's try this again. Who are we seeing, Dad? Mia Ella. Dad, stop playing around. Who are we meeting today? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we meeting today? Ella Man. Y'all, she's behind the curtain right there. That's crazy. <laughs> So I just met her and she gave me some advice. I'm gonna tell you about that later. But look, I got this VIP LMA windbreaker just for the meet and greet people. And it also came with scrunchies. I stole my dad's because what does he need one for? Dad, take your hat off.
I wasn't sure how this show would be, but you guys have honestly made this so, 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 so memorable. Thank you so much. So before we do this last one, I know, I know. I want to hear you guys make some noise for Twee. I personally asked my agent to make sure she was on the road with me, so thank you guys for embracing her the way you did. Yeah, don't let me down Cause if it's love I wanna try 
explain why tomorrow in this next clip but i'm about to go to sleep um i had the best time of my life the greatest time of my freaking life and uh, i just i just love her so much and i loved the experience so much and i will see you guys tomorrow with the whole story of everything all right so i know i told y'all yesterday that i would explain everything tomorrow which is now today so without further ado i want to explain it it's really not like a crazy, crazy story, but y'all wanted to hear it anyway, so I'm gonna tell it. All right, so first things first. So I got the meet and greet tickets, me and my dad, we both got it together. So they emailed us about two or three days prior to the show with more information on the meet and greet. So check-in was between 5 p.m. and 5.15. Now, I don't live in Connecticut, I live in Mass. I live in New England, so I'm about like an hour away from the venue. So we agreed to leave at like 3.30 so that we can get there by like 4.30, 4.45. The day finally comes and we run a little late. Like my dad was like, I'm gonna come get you at 3.30, right? This man didn't get here till like about, <laughs> not that far off. Like he was maybe like five or six minutes late, but we got there at the right time. We got there around like, I think it was like, 452, 453. So we we were good. We were basically good. We get there and we check in for the meet and greet or whatever. And we're waiting in line. Mind you, y'all, it is cold outside, boy. It's spring, but it ain't like warm spring yet. And it was raining earlier prior to. Yeah, it was freezing cold. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so we were waiting in line, and they said at the meet and greet that, that check is between 5 to 515 but that the meet and greet starts at 5.15 on the dot. But we didn't actually go inside the meet and greet. Like the meet and greet didn't start until like, I think 5.20, 5.25. So it wasn't like that far off, but still when it's cold outside, you're just like. So yeah, so then we, we check in, we get our passes or whatever, and we wait in line and then we go into the meet and greet around like 5.20ish or so, like five minutes later. So when you walk in, you gotta go through the metal detectors, obviously. Went through the metal detectors. To the right is a little room, right? And when you go in the room, there's a big black, like, cover, like, thing, like. And Ella was behind those sheets and they had, like, a line that was going like this or whatever. And then, the like, the sheet is, like, right here. So we went, like, a little zigzag to get to her. The line was actually moving pretty quick and I was a little bit like, I wanted to like really talk to her. Like I wanted to try to have like a little conversation with her before I just like did like that. So I was like, yo, this line kind of quick. Like I'm happy, but it's like, am I not gonna get any time to say anything to her? So I was like thinking about that because I had a whole bunch of things planned all week to say to her. So finally we get to the front of the line or whatever. 
and I asked the guy, he, I, don't, I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's like security, but basically he's like the person that like says, okay, your turn, you can go. Okay, your turn, you can go, like all that stuff. So I asked him, I said, hey, I see the lines moving kind of quick. Like, are we allowed to like ask her a question or talk to her or anything? Or do we have to like just take a quick picture and leave? And he was like, you can ask her a question if you want. And I was like, bet that, say less. So finally my turn comes and I see her. I'm sorry, I had to just reminisce real quick. So I go to see her, I go over where the uh, curtain is and she looks at me and she smiles. And the first thing I say to her is, oh my God, you're so beautiful. That's literally what I said. And she was like, thank you with her accent. Y'all, her accent? So I was like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Like, you're so beautiful. And she was like, thank you with her accent. And y'all, her eyes are so beautiful and big and brown. Like she is just a gorgeous, lady for real. She's like the one of the most beautiful women I've ever laid eyes on. I'm not just saying that. This girl is so beautiful. Her skin is just so clear and shiny and she was just, the, the, the girl was glowing, all right? She was glowing. And they take the picture of us. So they she took two pictures. They were both pretty much like the same thing. Like we had the same pose and stuff, but my head was just in a different angle, so. But I still appreciate that she, that she took two, like just in case one didn't look good or something, I don't know. But I, I appreciate it. So then after we took the picture, I said, can I ask you something? And she was like, yeah, go ahead. And I said, so I'm a artist myself, like I'm an upcoming artist myself. And I was wondering if you had any advice for me for like where to start or like how to continue to make it as an upcoming artist. And the advice she gave me was, she said something on something along the lines of, um, try to connect with your favorite producers, like whatever producers you like, try to hit them up and connect with them best you can and go from there. And I was like, bet, bet that. I said, thank you so much. Gave her another hug and said, thank you. Left and then it was my dad's turn. So it was like a quick little encounter. Like I didn't get to say everything I wanted to say to her cause it was kind of like quick and I didn't want to like hold nobody up and I didn't want to like keep her waiting too. So it was quick, but I don't care. Like I got to meet her, I had to take a picture with her. And I got to ask the main question I wanted to ask her. So I'm all set, I'm good as far as I'm concerned. So I wasn't even mad about it. Quick, simple, still loved it, still enjoyed it. So then after we meet her, there was a table like right there. So like I said, the curtain's right here and she's there. When you leave, there's a table right there with all the, like, the, the merch. When we got that email prior to the show about like details for like the, the meet and greet, whatever, we had to tell them what our sizes were. So they were like, put your sizes for the jacket. So we ended up getting the jackets that we told her our size was. So I got small and it came with scrunchies. I have, well, I have one on my, I have them on my wrist, but you can't see it. But I saw my dad's cause like I said, what does he need it for with his bald head itself? Dad, take your head off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does he need one for? Please tell me. So I stole it. Yeah, after that, uh, we had to go back outside, y'all. After we got our merch and met her and stuff, we had to go back outside in the cold. I was not prepared for that. I thought we was gonna go from the, the media greet to the venue. No, they said, sorry, you gotta go right back outside and wait. I was like, uh. But you know what? At least I have my windbreaker, so guess what? I wasn't as cold. I was still cold, don't get me wrong. I was definitely still cold. It was definitely freezing outside. It was not warm whatsoever. <laughs> But I wasn't as cold because now I got this on. So I, I'm chilling as far as I'm concerned, y'all. We wait there. Um, by this time, it's like five, it's like five, I wanna say like 540 something, like five, I'm gonna say 545 just to be safe. And we go back outside. And the VIP people, they tell us, they say, so you guys are gonna be going in the venue first, obviously, because the VIP people go first and then the doors open at seven for everybody else. So they said, you guys are still gonna go into the venue first, but you have to wait out here until they're done with sound check. So I was like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. So we wait there and we're waiting there for like another, no lie, another, I'll say, I'll say 45 minutes at the most. Cause we got out at like 5.45 then we got in at 6.30. So 6.30 comes. And, okay, but okay, okay, let me slow down. So yeah, we had to wait until sound check was done. And like I said, it was cold as hell, y'all. I had this on, but after a while, when you stand outside for that long, 
it, it got too cold. I'm talking about my nose was running. Mind you, I had makeup on, so it was annoying because I didn't want to like keep wiping it and messing it up. So my, you got my nose running. It's cold as hell. I'm just ready to go inside where it's nice and warm. There's some heat. And my dad was like, if you want, you could wait in the truck and I'll call you. I'll call you when um, the line starts moving. And I was like, bet. Thank you, dad. You're the real MVP. Thank you for sacrificing the cold for me. So I walked back to the truck and that's when I was waiting. And then at 6.30, he calls me. He says, all right, the line's moving. Come on, let's go. So I run to the damn line and we go inside. We walk in straight this time. And that's where the dome was. This is my first time going to a concert that's standing. I've never been to an st all standing concert like that. So I really didn't know what to expect. So when I saw like how empty it was and I saw how close to the stage I was gonna be, yo, I just, I was so happy. I couldn't, I could, I could not believe my eyes. I was like, yo, like this is so freaking dope. Cause I've been close to the stage, but not like that. I was like three rows. So the stage is right here, right? She's here. One, two, three. That's how far I was from her. So yeah, we're watching, we're waiting, we're waiting. We literally waited there. Oh, and mind you, y'all, I am so freaking glad that when I went in the car to wait for the line move that I switched my shoes because I brought two pairs of shoes. I don't know if y'all noticed that. In the meet and greet picture, I'm wearing these, right? But then when the concert actually starts, I have a whole different pair of shoes on. So I'm so freaking glad that I did that because y'all, with the amount of waiting we had to do and the standing alone, my feet would have been done for, like done. Like y'all don't even... So the show starts or whatever, and the opening act comes. I don't know how to say her name. I, I'm gonna feel so bad if I say it wrong. Um, it's spelled T-H-U-Y. So she's the opening act. And let me tell you, I've never, me personally, I've never, I've heard like one song by her, it's called Trippin'. That's my favorite song by her. I knew of that song, but I didn't like really know her as an artist, like for real, for real. Like I just heard the song before and I liked it. So. She could sing. Let me tell you, that woman could sing her butt off. The mic, the mic was on, honey. The mic was on. Yeah, there was no type of lip sync and she could sing for real. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And you know, like this is what my dad said too. You know that it's, that your music is good when you've never heard of the songs before and you hear it for the first time live ever and you like all the songs. Every single song she had were bops. Literally, my dad could tell you the same freaking thing. There was only like this one song where he was like, I wouldn't blast it, because it's kind of like, like a girly song. So he was like, I wouldn't blast that one. But the rest of them, he was like, yeah, they're bops. Like, they're they're good songs. All I need you guys to say, say what's on your mind. Just say what's on your mind. That's it. Can we practice that real quick? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys, we gotta bring this energy up for Ella. Okay, here we go. I won't keep you long. So what? Say what's on your mind. Say what? Just say what's on your mind. Let's go. Don't let me down, cause baby got me good to ya. Just take me my design, I'm in a good for ya. No need someone to tell me that I'm good to ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last time. I won't keep you long. So she can say, she did her thing. I'm not gonna lie, she really did her thing. I'm Fan though. I didn't know who she was before, but now I'm definitely a fan. So I've definitely downloaded some of her songs. I definitely listened to it. She got a new fan. So after that, an hour later, Ella May comes out with her beautiful self. And we all know Ella May could sing as well. Nobody's questioning her singing skills, but I just want to put that out there. Her mic was, her mic was, her mic was definitely on too. Okay. She just sounds so beautiful. She has the most angelic voice and it just comes so natural like it was just it was awesome i enjoyed myself i really really did and her band we cannot forget her band shout out to her band shout out to her backup singers they did their thing i was paying attention to everything because as a musician myself i pay attention to every single thing and they all did what they had to do they did their thing for real so let's give it up real quick because they put on a show, honestly. One of the greatest concerts I've ever been to. The only thing that I would say that was an issue for me, for real, which is common at standing concerts, but 
the only thing I had an issue with for real was the amount of people that was trying to cut. Like, I'm talking about, like I said, VIP, we paid to be up close and personal. You got people from the back trying to scoot their way from the front and push it in the process. And I'm just looking at them like, but I'm trying not to get mad because I'm like, you know what? I'm at a concert. I'm trying to enjoy myself. But it was very, very hard. The other thing too, I'm claustrophobic. And I must say I did very well for somebody that's claustrophobic because I don't like, I can't, I just can't, I can't. I don't even like when more than two people hug me at a time. I don't even like two people hug me at a time, period. I just don't like it. And at some point in the concert, I felt like I couldn't breathe a little bit. Like I kept moving, like every time I couldn't breathe, I had to like kind of like inch my way to a, like a little bit. Cause there's not much room, I can't really move much. But I would like try to inch to whatever space I could find just to catch some air a little bit. And it was just a lot. And then you got people right in front of me. Cause like I said, I'm close to her, but there's still people in front of me. You got people that's taller than me in front of me. And they over here dancing and turning up and that's cool and all, but let's not act like you don't know these people behind you. And that's what was pissing me off, bro. Cause you, you over here dancing like you got all this freaking room. Meanwhile, there are people like me behind you and you're tall as hell at that. So it was just annoying. Like it was just so freaking annoying, bro. And it was like, anytime somebody said anything to them, they were like, they had an issue. And plus when I was trying to record too, like I said, they taller than me. So you got their hands on the way when they turn up and it was just, I got some good footage as y'all saw, but I'm just saying like, you know, there was pros and cons. I definitely would prefer seating, 100%. But I still enjoyed the show. Needless to say, I definitely enjoyed the show. It was a 10 out of 10. So, and it was the first show of the tour. So shout out to LMA, girl. Thank you so much for coming to Connecticut, thinking of us, because nobody thinks of us. Like, Connecticut, that's not a very popular place to perform at, to be at, period. So the fact that you and your team thought about us first, I'm saying us, I'm from Massachusetts, but still, like, Connecticut is not much of a drive, so yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I shout out to Ella and her team for thinking about Connecticut, because how rare is it for artists to tour and go there first. Like they come, they come to Connecticut, they do. But to have that as the first place they go on the in the entire tour, that's crazy. And that's dope. And I loved it. I was like, that's crazy. We we were the starters of the whole tour. And I miss her already, y'all. Like I'm low-key kind of sad a little bit because I'm like, damn, it's really over. <sighs> but best believe I'm gonna meet her again. I'm definitely gonna go to another tour and meet her again. Plus one day when I make it as an artist, manifesting, we're definitely gonna see each other again. Like I said, I told her, I said, see you at the top one day. So y'all look at me now. If you see me one day, you know what I'm saying? You see me one day with her, just know I manifested it. So yeah, but that's my story. That's my experience. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is my first video on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and comment down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm much of a threat, call me triplet. Honestly, what you got was a snippet. Entrepreneur and the artist making business. Every single thing I do, I guess I'm gifted. Everybody kinda see me when I'm doing my thing. Cause I'm traffic on the way for a ticket. There is something about me that can't resist it. Only went to one show and now addicted. Oh damn. Oh.